All investors want a good return on their investments, but there are different types of return. Can you give us your view and talk about the importance of what's called total return? Sure. People f like to focus on two different types of return, typically a growth uh, aspect of return and an income aspect. So uh, folks pursuing a, an income perspective, they're going to be focusing mostly on bonds, alternatives such as real estate and perhaps dividend paying stocks. Growth investors are going to lean toward globally diversified portfolio stocks to, to mix in and, and get a little more appreciation. Most of the return of a growth style is, is appreciation. Um, a total return is a nice blend of the two in that you have some of that growth while the portfolio is also producing some income and I, I find that that's the happy medium for most folks. Thinking about income-oriented investors who typically may be drawn to bond funds, how does a focus on total return potentially benefit them? Well, with the total return approach, they're going to have a more diversified portfolio than they would if they were focusing on income. An income focus is going to wind up having a lot of bonds in the portfolio, and that leads them to be uh, in trouble if we have an inflationary scenario. Mixing in more stocks, you get a little bit of uh, a better inflation protection in the long run and some more uh, growth potential to keep your portfolio either on par or growing in terms of purchasing power into the future. Given today's low yield environment, do those in or near retirement need to add more growth potential to their portfolio? Where do you draw the line with risk? To the extent that someone is able to tolerate the additional risk of having equities in the portfolio, I do recommend that investors mix, mix that into their portfolio. Uh, I think on the risk standpoint, it's important to remember that um, there is no free lunch. So if something has a higher yield, it, it does entail more risk. Don't be fooled by thinking that something's safe um, with a high yield, they are intertwined. Wrapping up, what's the key point for investors to remember about total return? Just keep in mind that we're trying to build a portfolio that is structured in the best way possible. Focus on that first before worrying about how much income that portfolio is going to generate. It may wind up falling short of your income needs, but having a, a good all-weather portfolio that will provide growth will allow you to harvest some of that growth and make up for a shortfall in income.